Buongiorno guys, it's Max Sinestra, I'm in the busy Mohamed Ali Road here in Mumbai. We're gonna be hunting for a lot of delicious street food and I just can't wait to share this with you. Andiamo! We met a friend here. What's watermelon? Watermelon, watermelon juice, rose flavored watermelon juice. Mm. Oh wow, good. That's sweet. It's super hot, hectic, hustling and bustling. This is the best way to start. First location of the night, we found something very interesting. I've never seen it before, but the presentation is very nice. Let's see. Here, Kiai. Sweet and sweet, Alua. Okay, thank you. No, it's nice, it's not too sweet. It's good. It's not too sweet. Sweet, parada, parada. This is good. Can I have a little bit? This is how it's presented. First time seeing it. I love India food, but I'm actually every day learning something new. Ingredients, spices, foods. Wow. That's good. Very good. Acha. Acha. A bit oily, of course, because the bread is fried. But it's actually not too sweet. It's called alwa. Good for a snack. They have a very famous dish here. It's called naliniari. Wow! <laughs> oh my God, how creamy it looks! There is mutton shank, slow cook with lots of spices. Look how rich and thick it looks. Oh, bone marrow. <laughs> I'm mouth watering. I just can't wait to try it out. Okay, let's take a look inside. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hi, Max. Nice to meet you. Sir, welcome. Uh, let me explain you what is Nalini Nihari. Of course. Nihari means empty stomach. Empty stomach. This dish uh, created by the Mughals. Firstly developed in Delhi. Basically, it takes almost around eight to nine hours to cook. Thank you so much for oh, your presentation. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Thank you so much. Oh, he's swimming in bone marrow. Oh. <laughs> Look at the meat. <laughs> so tender. <laughs> okay, let's cook up. I'm so ready. Buon appetito. Oh, so good. Acha, really, really good. The spices are incredible. The gravy is intense, rich. It's a bit spicy. Mmm, oh, mamma The bone marrow is just so creamy. It melts in your mouth. The meat is so tender. Now I know why they're famous for this dish. I can come back here over and over again and have it. This <laughs> is really, really illegal. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. What a wonderful experience. And I have to be honest, this is one of the best dishes I ever had. Wow. The street is crazy. Chote kebab. Wow. Look, they're making those little balls, which are made with lentil flowers, I think mutton, and tons of spices. This place has been running for 120 years, and I guess they have a secret recipe. Because, I mean, 120 years selling the same item. You have to be a master. Boom, more and more. Saturday night, the streets are busy, full of hungry customers like me. Let's try this beautiful chote kebab. Chote actually means small. Let's squeeze a bit of lemon on it. Okay, there's not much juice in it. <laughs> Let's try it out. Oh. oh, wow. So crunchy. Actually, after he fries them in the oil, he lets, uh, he lets them rest for a bit so they're not too greasy. Oh, what we have here? Let's take a look. 
It's like a Malaysian martaba, stuffed with meat, full of spices. Mm. I think I might get one. Every shop tonight is half busy, full of locals. Saturday night, Mohammed Ali Road here in Mumbai. You just gotta get the best food. Yeah, yeah. Better, better roti uh -huh. with the mutton. Ah, uh, mutton. Okay, uh -huh. uh, one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, with mutton, kima, onion. Okay, and uh, masala. Famous Indian mutton kima. We just received the famous beta roti with mutton, kima, onion and lots of spices. It's piping hot. Oh, look. Charcoaly, crispy. And the streets are crazy. We deeper in the green chutney. We've been told it's not too spicy. Mm. Oh. Wow, savory, crunchy, it's really nice and it's fresh, it's really good. And the chutney, the chutney as well, it's not too spicy, it's good, it's perfect. Oh, oh we are loving it. If it's not loud, we don't love it. We have arrived at the oldest and most famous bakery in uh, Mohammed Ali Road. Okay, what they're famous for is this sweet aflatoon, which is made with uh, semolina flour, dry fruits, and saffron. I want to give it a try. Hi, how are you? Hi. I would like to try aflatoon. No test, no problem, no oh. charge. Oh, thank you. It's very nice. Wow, so kind of him. Oh, look. This the saffron aflatoon. Saffron aflatoon. Yeah. Wow, the famous saffron aflatoon. Mmm. Oh, a bit grainy. Well, greasy, buttery, because it's made with ghee. Nutty, because of the nut. And really, I can taste the saffron. Wow, it's really nice. They also sell tons of colorful sweets mixed with dry fruits and nuts. If you are a dessert lover, the shop will blow you away. They won an award for the Aflatu. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations. Thank you so much for making us try literally everything. Without you, this couldn't have been possible because I didn't know the items. And the Aflatu. Wow. Very nice. Wow, very nice. We're definitely going to buy a few. Oh, thank you. Okay, let's go get some kebabs now. One chicken tikka and one tikka kebab. Thank you. Tikka kebab is kneading with the coriander. Look at this beautiful mutton sea kebab. We saw them making that before with lots of spices, a coriander, so with some fresh onion, lime, and green chutney. What we do is we get a piece of this beautiful, gorgeous looking kebab, dipper in the green chutney, and take it a bite. Oh, full of spice, mm. so savory, rich, flavorful, a bit salty, definitely because of the spices. There is, a, I think, red chili, turmeric in it. The meat is so crumbly, perfectly cooked. First time trying sick kebab. It's very nice, very, it's nice. very good, yes. It's very flavorful. First time trying sick kebab. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> very nice to meet you. Bye. Have a good night. See you, friendly locals.
Thank you so much. We move table. <laughs> Look at where we are, at the back of a bicycle. Now we just received this beautiful oh, chicken kebab, chicken tikka, covering, maybe cumin, with a sprinkle of salt. Let's squeeze some lemon first. And I'm going to try it out because it looks so juicy. Oh, look how big. Charred, perfectly cooked. Oh, okay, buon appetito. Mmm. Juicy chunks of chicken, perfectly seasoned. It's good, eh? Oh my God, perfectly cooked. And the lemon adds a lot of flavor to it. Oh my God, it's crazy. <laughs> but I love it. Now we gotta get a refreshing drink. Lassi. Wow. I really need a glass of Lassi now. <laughs> Uh, two, two last. Wow. Finally, a refreshing glass of lassi. Ah, creamy, milky, sweet. That's what I needed. I think now I'm going to grab a seat, chill out for a bit. Because this street is uh, challenging, you know? <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> After getting here famous last seat, I couldn't resist and get masala chai. The smell of spices is incredible. Ginger. <laughs> Wow, creamy, milky. I really can taste the ginger. Really nice. Wow, the moment of truth. Lilwale, look at the coconut shell. Stuff with blended coconut flesh, cream, and cashews. Special Lilwale. Oh, full of coconut cream and cashews. Beautiful. So creamy. Oh. Cream everywhere. <laughs> and cashews on top. More, whoa, full of cream. Love the show, eh? Wow. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Yeah, yeah, no worries. <laughs> Thank you so much. Look at this bowl full of coconut flesh with cream and cashews. And guys, what a show. Buon appetito. Mm, oh. So coconutty. Look how thick. So what they do, they cut open the coconut shell, they get rid of the water, take out the flesh, they blend it with cream and cashews, and look at the beautiful diluale. Oh my God, this is so rich. And it's actually not too sweet. It's perfect, but it's too rich. I mean, how can I finish this bowl? Like an entire coconut shell. <laughs> That's it with our Mumbai Street Food Series. See you next Sunday in a new city with a new adventure. Ciao.